Growing up, my family relied on seven dust. Just how safe is seven? Thanks, and this is Lindsay right here in Cordova. So, yeah, we hear a lot about seven. We talk about seven all the time here on the show. All right. How safe is it though? Pretty safe, you know. Pretty I did safe? a little. I did a little research though. Okay. I, I thought it was pretty safe, but uh, I went to uh, Crop Protection mm. Handbook mm -hmm. that uh, I used to get every year, and uh, it has a section on carbaryl. You know, right there, got the chemical makeup, and it tells me a little bit about the LD50. Mm. That's a lethal dose mm. uh, that will kill 50% of the uh, research animals in the population. And the leth lethal dose 50 for rats for carbaryl is between 500 and 850 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So it takes quite a bit to kill a rat. Now, to give you something to compare that uh, to, let's compare. I went to a University of Florida <laughs> publication and uh, I found out that Gramoxone, okay. Paraquat, which is a restricted use herbicide that's highly toxic. It takes less than 100 milligrams per kilo, kilogram of body weight. Nicotine, nine. Wow. Nine milligrams per kilogram of body weight will kill 50% of the test animals in the population. Nicotine. Huh. Okay. Caffeine, <laughs> 192 milligrams of kilogram per body weight. Same as bleach. Tylenol, 338. Yeah, okay. So don't overdose on Tylenol. Yeah. You know. Table salt is 3,000. So 3,000 milligrams yeah. of table salt per kilogram of body weight is toxic to 50% of the animals in the population. Roundup, glyphosate, that you've been hearing about a yes. lot on the news, yes. 4,900. So it takes a lot takes more a lot. glyphosate to kill you than table salt. Hmm. It's 4,900 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So carbaryl, it's 500 to 850. But you do have to be careful with that around beneficials and Correct. bees. Correct. For sure. Correct. And, and, and this, this, this thing even talks about, yeah. uh, it tells me uh, the LD50 of birds, uh, 2,179 for birds. And but it is highly toxic for honeybees. Yes. yes. And, and, and fish. Yeah. Also, you, so you need to be, be careful, careful around ponds. Yes. And, and, you know, and, and you need to, and, and a blooming plant. Yes. You know, so yes. don't, you know, don't use it around blooming plant. Yeah. But, the, uh, the, and another thing about carbaryl is uh, it's been around so long that there are some insects that have built up a resistance to it. Uh, back a number of years ago, it took eight times more carbaryl to kill a flea than it did a few years earlier, so they can build up resistance to it. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you, so be sure to leave us some comments.